This is your Catholic Daily Journal for Monday, February the 11th, 2019. Today is the Feast of Our Lady of Lourdes. She first appeared in 1858 to a young girl named Bernadette Subaru near a cave about half a mile from the small town of Lourdes in France. Similar apparitions of a lady were reported on 17 occasions that year until finally Our Lady appeared and asked Bernadette to tell the local bishop that the lady was in fact the Immaculate Conception. It only took four years for the local bishop to declare the apparition authentic and a further eight for Pope Pius IX to approve and make personal donations that a church be built in the honor of Our Lady near the cave. That cathedral is still one of the busiest pilgrimage sites in the world. Basically, every pope since that time has visited Lourdes, and several have been intimately connected with the site, with the future Pope John XXIII being selected to consecrate the cathedral of Pope St. Pius X upon its completion in 1958. Today in 1534, after a long, drawn-out, and very confusing history, King Henry VIII declared himself the supreme head of the newly invented Church of England. In doing so, he confiscated thousands of monasteries, churches, and properties, and directly or indirectly murdered close to a million Catholics who refused to acknowledge his ridiculous decision. While many in the Church of England still claim that Anglicanism is not Protestant, Pope Leo XIII in 1948 made a definitive statement that the Church of England lacks apostolic succession, and that priests and bishops of that communion are in fact not validly ordained. As such, they cannot validly offer mass, absolve sins, anoint the sick, or ordain others. Henry's reasons for usurping the church were entirely self-serving, and his legacy is a bloody tyranny, which continues to this day to reduce religion to a show sport while excluding the genuine practice of religion from the public sphere by denying non-Anglicans the right to serve in certain public offices and placing upon the political structures of England the obligation of selecting and appointing bishops. Many are nervous that with the death of the Queen Mother, God forbid, Prince Charles will formally dissolve the connection between the royal throne and the Church of England. Today in 2013, in some of the most shocking news in modern history, the Vatican confirmed that Pope Benedict XVI would resign the papacy, effective 28 February 2013. No reason was ever given, and no one has had any advance notice at the time. Pope Francis implied several times that he would resign the papacy at 80, but that day came and went two years ago. Pope Benedict sat upon the chair of Peter from the death of Pope St. John Paul II in 2005 until 28 February 2013. He remains in good health and is living a quiet life of prayer in the Vatican. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.